Hello friends, in this session we are going to discuss about ASH reports. So here, what is ASH reports? See, transients performance problems are short lived and typically do not appear in the automatic database diagnostic analysis. So here ADDM tries to report the most significant performance problem during the analysis period in terms of the effect on the DB time. Fine. In the, in the problem last for the brief time, then its severity might not be averaged out or minimized by the other performance problem in the entire analysis period. Therefore, the problem may not be appear in the ADDM findings. Fine. So, whether or not performance problem is captured by ADDM depends on its duration compared to the interval uh, between the automatic workload repository snapshot. See, if your issue occurs for only one minute or two minutes, so those things are not going to be covered under the ADDM reports. Fine. So, these transition problems are very short lived during the analysis period. Fine. So, on that time, it will not give you under the ADDM reports. If the performance problem lasts for significant portion of the time between snapshot, then it will be captured by the ADD. So here, for example, if the snapshot interval is for the one hour, fine, AWR we are taking for the one hour, then the performance problem for the last 30 minutes should not be considered as a transient problem, fine, because it's the duration represents a significant portion of the snapshot interval and will be likely captured by the ADDM, fine, okay. On the other hand, the performance problem that lasts 2 minutes could be transient because uh, its duration is a small portion of the snapshot interval and will probably not appear in the ADDM findings. Fine. So here the important thing is that the problems occurs for the 30 minutes that is going to be recorded on the, under the ADDM reports, but the problem that is occur for the only 2 minutes fine that is not going to be recorded under the ADDM reports. For example, if the system was slow between 10 pm to 10 10 pm and ADDM analyzed time period between 10 pm and 11 pm does not show the problem, then the transient problem may have occurred only for few minutes for the 10 minutes interval. Fine. To capture a detailed history of the database activity, Oracle database samples activity session for each session with the active session history sampler fine so this this kind of issues you can handle with the ash active session history aws snapshot processing collects the sample data into the memory and writes to the persistent storage fine so here you can see the ash is an integral part of the oracle database self management framework and extremely useful for the diagnostic the performance problem Whatever the issues are there which is not recorded in the ADDM that you can just identify with the ASH. Okay. ASH gather the sample data at the session level rather than at the instance level. So this all this information which is gathered by the ASH that is at the session level not at the instance level. Okay. By capturing the statistics only for the active session collects manageable set of data. The size of this data is directly related to the work being perform rather than to the size of the being entire database instance fine so that is whatever the work is performed that depends of uh, that ash depends upon this okay it is not depends upon the database instance fine the sample data captured by the ash can be aggregate based on the dimension of the data including the following so what are the data ash is containing let's see so sql identifier of sql statement object number file number and block number Weight event identifier and the parameters, which are the weight events are there. Session identifier and the session serial number. Fine. Modules and the action name. Client identification of the session and the service has identifier. Fine. So let's see practically how to create ASH report. Fine. So ASH report can be created manually by the SQL command from the script uh, that is from the SQL plus as well as you can create the ASH report from the your Oracle Enterprise Manager. So here uh, we are going to create the ASH report from the Oracle Enterprise Manager. So I am going on to the performance page and on the performance page here I am just uh, going with the top activity. So which are the top activity at this moment. So you can see these are the your top activity which is going on 
top SQL, top sessions, fine. So these are the all your top activity, fine. This is the your select statement is there. This is the your uh, SQL ID is there. Now, if you want to run the ASH report, here is the option to run the ASH report. So here you can just click on this ASH report. Click on this. Now here it will ask you to select the timings means from which period you want to just run the ASH report. So here date is today's date that is fine. Timing is between 7 7 pm to 7 22 pm means for the last 5 minutes. In case if you want to change the timing you can also change the timing but at this moment I don't want to change the timing so I am not that's why I am not changing. SID you can if you keep you can just keep left because here we are going with the ORCL for the full your database you can go with the specific service specific module specific action that you can define but I am going with the SID and I am not giving so that it, it will take the default value so here I am just generating the report so this process will take some time it is creating the report fine so you can see this is the your ASH report for the ORCL instance ORCL database name so here you can see the first thing DB name ORCL DB ID this instance ORCL instance number one release number this rack no host name OEL fine number of CPU is one SGS size I have given 395 MB buffer catch size 92 percent shared pool size I have given 148 MB and the ASH size I have given 2.0 MB ASH buffer size fine also the analysis begin time at 9 17 35 9 22 35 up to and the from where it get the data from the VDOR or active session history from this it will just collect the data LF time 5 minutes sample count 28 average active session 0.09 and average active session per CPU that is 0.09 so here you can see the what are the top user events in last 5 minutes so that the CPU plus CPU weight that is going to be percentage of 71% DB file sequential read it is done that is 3.57% log file synchronization that is a commit that is done 3.57% null event that is the others that is done for the 3.57 fine and the in the first CPU plus weight event you can find the average active session that is a 0.07 also the top background events that is the log file parallel write that is a 10% control file parallel write 3.57 OS threads startup that is a 3.57 this is the activity done in the last 5 minutes also the top event which is the log file parallel write control file parallel write db file sequential read and the log file sequential read so this is the all your top events also the top services so here you can see a sys dollar user admin con connection sys dollar background Switch dollar user ORCL these are the all your top services module and the top client ID is this fine C is OMS and the one is from the OEL this is the programs you can see fine so activity 46 percent and this is the 3 percent and top SQL command times which is done in the last five minutes that is select command one which is 75 percent of activities consumed and update that is the 3.57 another one top phase of SQL that is the SQL execution hard parse and the parsing also the top SQL with the top events fine so this is the uh, SQL ID this is the your another SQL ID with the top events. then the top SQL with the top row source fine top SQL using the literals top parsing module action and the complete list of SQL te uh, text which is run in the last five minutes so all the information which is given by the active session history report fine and from this you can just find out what is actually happened in the last five minutes okay if you are running the ADDM reports it will give the last one hours data and it is not giving you the that much of effective in case some issues happen for the only two minutes fine on that time the issue is not reflected under the AWR or the in the ADDM reports ADDM cannot find out those things so that is the reason if any problem any issues is done for the like for the 30 second or 60 seconds or the for the two minutes on that time this ASH report is very much important to identify the 
issues on that time ADDM report is not recommending fine so here you can just find out the any of the block sessions are there yes in the last five minutes you can see these are the block sessions from where it is comes from here it is comes top sessions running speak you top object file latches is there top DB files fine Acti activity over the time so this is the your slot time it is giving you this time this is the happen all this 25 seconds this is the one minute one minute all this information is given by this reports fine so this is the very important report for you in case if you want to save this reports for the future use you can also save this fine so the main purpose of this ASIG report is like any of the issues happen between for the, some specific time period like five minutes or the five like in last five minutes your database was running very slow so if you are going with the ADDM this or ADDM can't give you that exit report fine because it is collecting the data for the one hours it is generating the it is giving you the recommendation which is collecting the data from the last one hour fine so that is the reason that ASH report is very important. So in this session, we have discussed about how to create or run the ASH report in Oracle database. Thank you.